All right, cool. Who's ready for the second call? Who's ready for the second call? Who's ready for the second call? Oh, let me put my email again. Guys, hold up. It's pinned, but just in case. Email that email, and I will send you our buy box. All right, second hot lead call. This girl's name is Emily. What a great name. Emily. All right, let's call her. your buy box for Tennessee. What were you asking? Yeah. I want to get a message. Usually when they don't pick up, guys, I do send, leave a voicemail. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Hey, you've reached Emily Horner with Horner Homes Real Estate Team. I'm so sorry I missed your call, but please leave me a message and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Bye. Where's the tone? Beep. Did I do it? Hey, Emily, this is Michelle Garabito. We've been chatting on Facebook, um, I believe yesterday, just shooting you a call to follow up on the conversation that we had about what a partnership would look like with you as our agent and us as an investor. If you are so interested in working together, just shoot me a call back. This is myself. Um, if you have any other questions, you just send me a message or shoot me a text at this number. I look forward to talking to you. Have a great day. Okay, let's keep it rolling. Hot agent lead number three. This guy's name is James. Woo. <laughs> the chat is- yeah, Hello, it's James Brown. Hey, James Brown. This is Michelle Garabito from Facebook. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. How is everything going? Good. A hundred different things going on at once. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I totally get it. Hey, I just wanted to spend some time and chat with you based on the conversation that we had on Facebook about partnering up with you as our real estate agent. Do you have a few minutes to talk? Let's do it. All right, perfect. So I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm an investor in the Colorado markets. I've done a couple of deals in the past couple of months, uh, all through real estate agents. And uh, we're basically looking for properties that have been sitting on the MLS for about 15 to 20 days, original or dated condition. So we can put our crews to work through the holidays, flip it, invest it, um, and obviously make a profit. So right now, just so you know the type of volume that we're doing, we're submitting about 15 to 20 offers on the MLS every single day. And so we're looking to partner up with agents that can be our eyes and look for properties that would be a great fit for what we can flip. And I would love to get to know you a little bit more to see if you have worked with investors before and see if you think you would be a great fit with working with us. Yeah. Now, are you based in New York? I see you have a New York number. Yeah, I actually was born and raised in the Bronx. Are you in New York? Nope, I'm here in Denver. Grew up in Alaska, actually, but I... Wow. I, um, yeah, moved here in 88 after high school, and I, I stayed because it's nice. Nice. Yeah, I actually just moved to Denver. My boyfriend was living out there for two years. Um, so when, when we started dating, I did not want to do long distance. So I packed my bags, left New York, and moved to Denver. And it worked out because now I have a six-figure business here, so it's wonderful. Boom. Yeah. So, James, tell me a little bit more about your real estate experience. Well... There's a lot going on, like, <laughs> um, so I got into real estate more for personal reasons to invest myself, mm -hmm. um, kind of took a deep dive into like all the different ways you can make money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I had no idea. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
I ended up meeting up with my partner, Toby, mm. um, at a real estate networking deal. Uh, have you ever heard of the badass real estate investing meetups? I think I've heard of it. Tell me yeah, about it. There, well, there's three. Um, there's one, one in Rhino, one in Erie, and one down. I'm in Castle Rock, so one down in the tech center. Mm-hmm. So there's different locations, but it's just pure networking. Just love it. Investors and hard money lenders and agents and all that. So, Amazing. anyway, so that that's how I met Toby actually originally, um, cool. and a lot of people. So our main business is actually um, rent to own. So what we're doing is we we find people that can't get qualified for a loan, and we pair them up with an investor. Mm-hmm. The investor will buy the house and lease it back to them or do a contract for deed. Mm. Um, so that, that's our main business. Um, and we kind of started out that business bef- before we formed that business. We were in Ron Legrand's program. Do you know him? No, tell me about him. Uh, he's like the grandfather of lease options. Nice. So his, his, what he trains people on is calling FISBOs, finding mm-hmm. ones that are open and able to do, to sell on a lease option. And then as a Ron Legrand uh, minion, you, you, <laughs> you go and you find, find people that need to do a lease option, you know, that can't get financing and pair wow. them up. Um, oh, okay. So you're like an OG. But, uh, so you know what you're talking about. Uh, I've learned a lot in the last <laughs> couple of years. I'll, I'll say that. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I'm so excited to be connected with you then. This is great. Yeah. Um, so, so to kind of, so we've, we started out that way, right? Mm-hmm. And we found it was like, it was difficult finding, finding FISBOs that were open and able and trusting and would do that. Um, and then you have to find tenant buyers that, that match. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's a, it's a harder way to do it than what we're doing. Wow. Um, and we were also doing some, some marketing for motivated sellers, mm. but most Mostly, um, mostly with the pitch of lease options, and the, along the way, we're like, okay, this this is tough. It's tough in the Denver market mm. um, to find those those sure. like deep discounted ones for like those big major flips. Um, but so we ended up joining Pace Morby's yeah. Subject Two Group. Of You're course! Oh my gosh, I'm with Astro Flipping and with Jamil okay. Damji. Okay. I, I was wondering if you're one of those. Yeah, yeah that's so amazing. So we're basically related because they're best friends. Yeah, totally. Yeah, we're like cousins. We're basically <laughs> like cousins. So yeah, yeah we, um, we definitely have to do business together now. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, perfect. No, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because we've actually talked to a couple of other Astro Flipping people um, yeah. that are in this area. Amazing. Like, have you run across Eric Pinwillis? Oh my gosh, Eric Penuelas is, he was my first mentor. He was the one that referred me to Astro and I closed my first two deals with him. Yes. He was, he was just in Hawaii for a month and uh, he helped me with one of my deals. It was amazing. Cool. Yeah. He's a rock star. He is. He really is. Right on. Perfect. Yeah. So I I just talked to him a couple days ago. Amazing. um, To kind of dive deeper into why I called him. Mm-hmm. So this is based off our, our business, um, our lease option business can tie into what you guys are doing. Right. So how that works. And I, I haven't done it yet, mm-hmm. but our, 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 our mentor, Jesse, he's in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. He's got a partner that is finding wholesale deals, like many, many, many um, each month. Right. Right. What he, what he does is every time he markets to his buyer list, mm-hmm. he puts that it's available for for owner financing or mm. um, yeah, seller financing. So <clears throat> what that does is kind of open up some opportunities for for the buyers. What we can do, like if if uh, if they don't have enough money as, as that buyer to take down a deal right now, but down the road they can. Right. What we can do, we can step in, we use one of our investors that mm-hmm. can get a loan right now, Right. buy that deal off of you, 
-hmm. And then, then we do a lease option with Amazing. that other, other buyer, the one that's in your buyer's list. Mm -hmm. So, so Jesse's been doing a handful of those or, you know, maybe a couple of months. Wow. Um, yeah. That's so an amazing, just kind of opens up. Yeah. That's an amazing business model. Amazing. Well, I do have a couple of deals right now that I'm looking for a buyer. So uh, just show me your email and I will okay. text you um, the deal text and see if that fits your business model. And if it does, then I am so excited to be working with you for sure in this aspect. Yeah. Let's see. Let me find her. Yeah. Just shoot me a text. Quick question for you. Do you also, and because I know you're an agent, do you also uh, search for other like original dated condition homes that have been sitting on the MLS for 15 plus days and work with wholesalers or investors in that way as well? I haven't. And I, I, I mean, I could. Okay. Um, okay, great. But so, the best way, so you believe that the best way to work with you is basically how you just shared with me, what you just shared with me. That's, that's one way. Um, okay. But so, so tell me, like, you would have me search in the MLS for specific deals or kind of create an army of other agents out looking then? as opposed to you looking for them and then just um, like, I, I guess I'm kind of. Yeah. Yeah. I'll explain to you what our business model looks like. So we do have about our, we do have an army of agents that are looking in different parts of Colorado. So let's say if we, if you believe that this would be a good fit for you to work with us, I'll send you an email of the types of properties that we're looking for um, properties that haven't hit the market yet. that have been sitting on the MLS for a while. That would be a really great flip for us to take on and have our rehabbers go to work. Um, and then we will, you can send it over to me. I'll go ahead and send you our offer, our proof of funds. You can write up the contract for us and you can either represent us or we can go unrepresented and pay you a commission when we close. So we close in 15 days, 15 business days. We pay all closing costs and yeah, it's really, really great business opportunity for agents. So that is how we run our business model. Okay. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable with that? Do you have you had any experience doing that? I haven't, but I, I totally do that. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. All right. I think I saw your email come in. Okay, great. Yep. So this is what I'm going to do then. I'm going to send you those deals that I believe can be good leasing options for you um, mm -hmm. that I'm still looking for a buyer. And I just locked it up a few days ago. Two of them are off market and they're in Pueblo. I'm not, I know Pueblo is a small, is a small community out there, but I'll send that over to you. And then I'll send you over my buy box as to what properties we're looking for to see if you um, also would like to be on a search with us and work together in that way as well. Sounds good? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Awesome, James. Well, thank you so much for hopping on a call with me. I really appreciate you educating me on the OGs and lease options and excited that you're a sub two student. I know a ton of sub two uh, members and of course you know here at Astro Flipping anything else that you need and any other people you'd like to connect to I'll definitely send them over your way as well yeah in fact um, we so we have weekly so Toby and I run the Colorado like sub two group okay um, and, we, and we have calls every Thursday um, on zoom okay but then every once a month we're having in-person meetups nice. and we got one Friday if you're available yeah, you know what? I am actually on a Disney extravaganza right now with my boyfriend. Um, but my operations manager, Trey, is my boots on the ground in Denver. And so if you can send me that information so he can head over there and network with you guys, that would be amazing. Um, I will be in Denver a few, you know, in a few weeks. So I would still, I'm going to save your number and we can definitely grab lunch. I'll treat you. And um, I'm sure by then we'll, we've done many deals together. But Trey will be there. I'll introduce you to him. And um, it'll be really great for us to work together. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'll, uh, I'll look up the uh, – I might have to get his – I don't know if I – Trying to remember how they've been doing it. We were doing Facebook yeah. <laughs> events. Okay. Uh, I'll dig in there. I okay, yeah. It may be on, like, Eventbrite or something, too. I'll have to look at Okay. So anyway, yeah. we'll figure that out. Yeah. What's Trey's sure. last name? Montoya. Montoya. I don't know how to run into him. <laughs> cool. Yeah, for sure. 
Okay, cool. So yeah, so text me everything. I'll email you my buy box. I think I just saw your email come, come in. So I'll email that to you. And I'm so excited to work with you. Thanks so much for chatting with me. And I hope you have a wonderful week. Yeah, you too. Take All care. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Y'all. Y'all. Like, is that insane? Trey, you totally fine with going to a networking event on Friday? Yeah, of course. Okay. 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 Course. I basically like invited you. I even check in. Figured no, you yeah, totally. Oh my gosh. How incredible was that, guys? Are you guys a mind blown or what? This was only, what, the second live call on a hot agent lead? And so you see, now you have two options, right? I'm always a big believer of having avenues of where you're talking to agents. So avenue one, if you like this hot agent call, then you hop on Facebook group and you can literally do this all day because I have 35 numbers that I'm going to get through. Um, if you are like, nah, Michelle, I'm cool, batch lead styler, and we'll do a little bit of batch leads later on so you guys can see, that's the cold leads agent. And we could probably have the same calls. But I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a different type of swag and a little bit different types of juice. For those of you guys that are like, I'm not with the cold calls, I'm nervous as hell. These are people waiting and expecting your call. And it's, it is exciting, right? They know exactly who you are. And you just never know who you're going to connect with. Okay? So, you guys ready for the next one? <laughs> okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one more call. That will put us at about one, two, three, four. I'm going to do two more calls. Let's do five hot agent lead calls. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Trey show you guys um, what happens when we actually get a deal from an agent. And he's going to show you guys how he puts in the offers, what the offers look like. I know some of you guys are also uh, get a little freaked out about EMD, right? And when we, can we deposit? Can I just tell you, I closed, by the end of this month, it'll be, I believe, 14 deals. I've never deposited EMD myself. <laughs> I let the buyers do that, honey. And there's a way that I will show you guys how to do it. We were also going to show you guys how we organize our, um, our system. Because, guys, we're submitting, we get 25, 30 leads a day. Trey, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. So systems are e extremely important because uh, Michelle and I would probably go insane if yeah. we didn't have those systems, yeah. um, especially with the volume that you're going to be putting out. Um, you know, we do do, we get like 20 to 30 at least uh, leads a day. And so we're submitting offers on 90% of those. Right. And so if you don't have systems in place to keep those, um, keep track and then also get those offers out, then you're going to be driving yourself insane. <laughs> right. So. so we'll show you guys, uh, what CRM we're using, how we organize everything. Um, <clears throat> and we can't wait to show you guys. So that's coming up next, guys. Get ready for that. How are we doing on time? Emily, we're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get some questions. Okay, cool, Kenny said we're good. We're also, before we transition to Trey's job in this, um, we're definitely gonna answer some questions. In terms of following up with agents, um, again, I'm the type of person that I want you to prove to me, as you guys can see how I, met, like, how I work these calls, I want these agents to prove to me why they should work with us, right? And so another way that we kind of see how we want to work with them is I already told you what I'm looking for. I emailed you my buy box. You just sold yourself to me on the phone. If I'm not getting needs in the next 24 to 48 hours, I'm sorry, I'm too busy. Like, I'm not going to be calling you and be like, yo, where my leads at? Like, I'm already, I already have 25 to 30 leads sitting in my inbox. I'm not desperate. You know what I mean? And so if they are not sending me leads after a beautiful, meaningful conversation, then that just means I'm not a priority for their business and they're not going to be a priority for my business either. So if you feel like you have to constantly like reach out and follow up with agents, then you're working from a place of lack. And this is why having a 35 hot lead agents list or a 38,000 cold leads agents list is important. So that way you lead from abundance and you receive from abundance. Make sense? So yeah, you're never going to see me chase up the people. I didn't even chase after my man, honey. He came to me. I was single for nine years. <laughs> Ain't nobody was chasing after nobody. I was on my single girl flow. Paul came to me, baby. All right. 
Paul shaking his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Who is ready for number four? This guy's name is Jose. Jose. The Spanish call. A Spanish call. Ooh, if he speaks in Spanish, one of my buyers, I literally spoke to him in Spanish throughout the whole transaction. It was pretty intense. <laughs> All right, guys, next call. Two more calls, and we'll, we'll go uh, straight to showing you guys how uh, we run our process. All right, let's rock and roll. Please leave your message for seven two zero two two nine eight four five three. Hey, Jose, this is Michelle Garbito. We had a great conversation on Facebook to talk about our investor agent partnership. Um, I would love to chat with you on how that would look like. So whenever you get the chance, just shoot me a call back. Um, you have my cell and just shoot me a call so we can discuss how that looks like. Have a great day. All right, y'all. Ooh, this guy. Actually... I know this guy. Yeah, let's call. Next guy is Justin. You guys are funny. All right, let's call Justin, y'all. Trey, you ready? You got everything set up? Yeah, I'm all, I'm all straight. I'm ready when we're ready. Epic. Oh, you know what's funny? I literally have Justin as Colorado buyer. Interesting. All right, let's see what's up. Probably. Hello. Hey, Justin. It's Michelle. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. How's your day going? It is going. I've got family coming in town tonight, so I'm kind of just running around trying to get stuff ready. Nice. That sounds exciting. Yes. Awesome. I'm doing great. I just wanted to chat with you really quickly to follow up on the conversation that we had on Facebook. Do you have a few minutes now? Yes, ma'am. Yay. So I think we had spoke uh, before. I think I sent you a couple of my properties, but I didn't realize that you're also an agent in Colorado. Yes, Colorado and Virginia. Amazing. Tell me a little bit more about your real estate experience and working with investors. Have you done it before? So that's pretty much exclusively what I do. Okay. Um, so I have had a real estate company in Virginia for about 10 years now. Um, and I exclusively work with investors. Um, in Virginia, we also flip around 25 to 30 houses a year, roughly. We build about 20 to 30 houses a year. Um, and my real estate team basically specializes in investment properties and working with investors and rental properties and things of that nature. Um, and I'm also a contractor as well. So that's pretty much my niche. Um, and we buy and hold as many properties as we can as well. So we just like, we just bought a house in Cripple Creek um, for an Airbnb. So um, that's kind of our target market and our specialty is investment properties and working with investors amazing well now i see why i have you as buyer on my phone <laughs> amazing well based on your expertise i would really love your help um right now we are looking to purchase a couple flips ourselves and we're looking for properties that have been sitting on the mls for 15 20 days that just have no movement um we're looking for properties that haven't even hit the market yet that's in original or dated condition Properties that basically look like shit, that's what I'm looking for. I want my rehabbers to work the, during the holidays, even after the holidays, give them some growth for the new year. And so I would really love your help to see if you can help me find these properties um, and have you represent us in submitting offers to those sellers. Um, and, uh, you know, we close in 15 days. Um, we do cash, hard money, and uh, we're ready to make things happen. So I just wanted to check in with you and see if you'd be interested in working together. I would be happy to. And then I had a couple of questions for you as well. Sure. Um, so I think you said you were purchasing around four properties a month. Is that correct? So we, yeah. So currently right now we have six properties under contract. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Um, are you doing any kind of direct mailers or any kind of other campaigns other than properties on the MLS? Like, what are you doing to find properties off market? That's a great question. So I have an army of agents that actually send me properties that haven't hit the market yet. I don't spend money on marketing in terms of like direct mail or anything like that. Actually, my real estate investing coach will probably have a heart attack if I tell him that I was doing that. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, all it's all been through an army of agents that work with me that basically have their eyes on those types of properties and they send it to me we and they do their magic to make sure we get it under contract perfect um mm-hmm. do you do any kind of um tax record searches or um probate lists so like in virginia we would be in the probate office at least once a week um nice. me and my agents and we would be scouring through lists of probate with real estate transfers um and did really really well uh, wow. with that avenue Um, Are you doing any of that here? So currently we're not. um, So I am open for you to, for you to send me that for sure. Okay. Um, Yeah. Cause we did very well with that Avenue. Um, Though it can be very time consuming to deal with um, those who have just lost a loved one and kind of gone through the probate process and Mm. selling real estate. Um, So it's kind of, It's very time intensive, but that's what all the other agents are for. Um, Mm -hmm. So they kind of deal with that aspect of it. But I would be happy to help um, however I can. There would be submitting offers on, you know, 20, 30 properties a week, um, which is fine with me. I've got templates set up, so all I have to do is basically input the property address and we can just send as many offers as you want. Amazing, Justin. Amazing. So basically, you're telling me that you are going to stand out out of my army of agents with that probate list because it looks exact. It looks like that's exactly what your specialty is. Yes. So this, I've been doing this for a long time now. So I consider myself well versed, and um, like I said, I have a real estate company, so I train agents on this aspect of the business. Um, I would rather have agents work with investors and do repeat business rather than try to just get with one seller as a one-off sale. Right. Um, so that's kind of where our focus has always been and where my specialty has been. So mm-hmm. that's, that's my niche. So your other agents that you work with as well, I'd be happy to work with them on some trainings too. Yeah. To kind of just better improve the whole system. Amazing. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. So text me your email. I'm going to send you over what we're looking for. But I think that if we can focus on this new avenue of the probate list, I'm going to just let you do what you do. So I'm going to text you my email. You can start sending me that. Um, and yeah, we can definitely submit some offers. And then as well as tell, you know, emailing you our buy box so you know exactly what we're looking for. Um, and then we can definitely get those offers in. And I do have some agents that are kind of newbies that are you know, navigating the real estate agent world. And so I can definitely refer them to you so you can train them. And you and you know you guys can work together so we can you know even double and triple the you know the volume that we're doing on that list. Perfect. I would love to help. Um, and then I wanted to ask you as well about how are you structuring um, the resale of your properties? And then if I were to bring you off market deals, what kind of fees are you looking to pay the agent? Um, or I would be happy to be paid outside of the agency as well if it was a property that's off market. If you wanted to just you know, pay me as a wholesale deal yeah. or however you want to structure that. I'm totally cool with whatever you're comfortable with. I've done both. I've had agents represent me and the seller pays their commissions. And then I've had agents get me some off market deals and we have a 20 K assignment fee and they get $10,000. So whatever works for you. Okay. And then, um, deals that I bring you typically what I do is an exclusivity to relist the properties after it's listed at a reduced rate, usually 1%. Um, how does that sound to you? How, or how do you usually go about that? Uh, yeah. I mean, when that time comes and we're ready to relist and the property came from you, I mean, I, I believe that makes sense. And that's totally fair for sure. So okay. yeah, we can definitely, when that time comes, we could definitely talk about that. Okay. Perfect. Awesome, All right. Well, Justin. I will send you my email and then just go ahead and send me um, your kind of criteria over and I will get working on my end. All right, let's do it, Justin. Well, thank you so much for your partnership, and I'm excited to do a lot of business with you. Yes, ma'am. All right, have a great day. You as well. All righty, bye.
Like, are you crazy? Crazy, crazy. That's a whole new avenue. I've never, I mean, I think I heard Ryan Zolan said that that's like his niche. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but probate list, like I've, we've never done that. So guys, I literally just created a whole new avenue of deals and leads. And you're delegating it out. Yeah. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, that's. Yeah, exactly. And so we come across agents that are newbies. Um, and so, you know, if I feel like they're not really working at the capacity that we would like them to work, I can now have this guy train them, train him, and boom, 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 value upon value upon value. That is incredible. Okay, guys. Amazing. I think you kind of get the gist and we're at an hour and 35 minutes. I am so excited to share with you guys our process and share with you guys how we organize this because clearly our business is blowing up and it's going to continue to blow up based on everything that we have um, going on. And best believe that I'm going to keep calling these people even while I'm at Disney World <laughs> because um, I have big goals. I'm turning 30 next year. I've been working towards my wealth since I was 17 years old. That's actually when I got started in Amway. I, I got started in Amway because they told me that I would be wealthy and help my family get out of poverty. I grew up on welfare. I grew up in cockroach infested apartments. Like my dream has always been to live the life that I'm living now and produce income um, the way that I am now. And I found that through real estate investing. Um, and so this is a really big year for me. This is my 30th year. And one of the reasons why I joined Astro Flipping, one of the reasons why I do what I do, one of the reasons why even while I'm at Disney World, like after we're done with the parks, I'm like working is because I have big dreams and goals to produce wealth for me, my future husband, our future children, and to get my family out of the Bronx. Like they're still living there. And right now I'm making enough money just for really for me and my lifestyle. And it kills me every day. So, um, so yeah, I'm excited to really continue to and bump this up. So I'm so excited to introduce you guys to Trey. So a little background on Trey and I'll have him share a little bit about himself. I... When I was in Huatulco, Mexico, if you guys would follow me on Instagram, you guys remember that. That's really, that was kind of like our Zen space. And that's when I was working towards creating um, abundance in my business. The, that month prior, I was, I think I made like $5,000. And so I was just getting leads myself and comping it myself and then putting in offers. And it was taking a lot of energy and a lot of time on my end. And so I wanted speed because the way that I work is that I, I like to create systems and processes. So that way this business that I'm creating eventually becomes a machine like Keegley, right? Eventually I can hire a ton of people, take myself out of the equation and income is still flowing in. So that way I can legit retire by the time that I'm 40, 42, have my business produce income and grow while I'm still traveling the world, but I don't have to necessarily work. And so I knew that I couldn't do it by myself. So I literally was praying, praying, and praying. And I remember one time I was so overwhelmed, so tired. I had made like $3,000, $4,000. I think max was like $5,000 a month. And I was stressed the hell out. I'm a full-time entrepreneur. I don't have a job. This is what I do. Um, and so as a full-time entrepreneur, you got to make sure your money is, is your coins is stacked up. Right. So I knew that I needed to hire somebody and I was on the pool praying to God to bring me somebody that can help me elevate my, my business. And here comes Trey. So Trey actually had a deal in Colorado and he sent me how he, how he organized the deal, how he sent it to me. I was like, wow, nobody has ever sent me a deal that looks like this. And I need you on my team now because I look for <laughs> I look for organization. I look for the way that people do their processes. That's what that's what inspired me and impressed me about Eric Pinuelas. As you can see, he's a very famous person. Um, if you ever work with Eric, his process, the way he runs his business, it's just like it's mind blowing. And so Trey was that person, and I had asked Trey, like, listen, would you like to be my business partner of Prosperity Estates and have? Um, you know, you, you focus on, you know, getting a ton of leads. I told him I'm getting 25, 30 leads a day. Do you think that you can take over and comp these properties, send offers and everything? And he was like, hell yeah. 
And so Trey is the oper official operations manager of Prosperity Estates. He gets 30% of every deal that we close. And some deals are as big as 20,000, 10,000. So the company is gonna do about 100K this month and, and Trey's getting 30%. And I pay on time, right, Trey? Like, I don't be playing with that. Always, always. Sometimes I don't play with people's money, y'all. I don't play. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and turn it over to Trey. He's going to introduce himself, a little bit about his real estate experience, the growth that he's been creating, and how we work our processes, what CRMs we're using, and what does he do when the leads come in. So Trey, take it away. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so I'll just do like a little um, brief uh, adding on to what Michelle said. Um I started uh, wholesaling when I was 18, right out of high school. Um, got some deals of, deals of my own, um, got some properties of my own. Then my wife and I decided to move to Denver. Um, and so connected with Michelle. And from there, you know, the rest is kind of history. Um, and so that's kind of how we've met um, up to this point. And so I'm just gonna run you guys through kind of our processes um, they're not super complicated. They're not, um, you know, super genius. They're just really great processes that work for us. And so I would probably recommend taking some notes, um, and, uh, definitely take some notes because the stuff that we have now, I was praying for a, a long time ago. And so, um, I'll kind of go through a couple scenarios. Um, I think I need to share my screen see if this works real quick. Yeah, check it out. Okay, can you guys see it now? You're good. Hi, yes, in the chat. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take you guys through what I do um, from beginning to end, um, and we'll just kind of go from there. Uh, so in the mornings, um, I hope you guys can see my screen because I can't see you guys. Um, basically, we have a ton of leads that come in, and uh, I'm pretty—I've already got through them today. So um, I'm just going to go through. Um, okay, so Laura is one of our best agents. Um, I'm not going to go through that actually. That's a little. I'll just go through our our Trello board. You think that's cool, Michelle? Yeah, this, okay. yeah, just explain what Trello is and okay. all that good stuff. Okay, so Trello is actually the the biggest system that we use um, to keep everything um, systemated and automated um, and keep everything organized. Uh, so basically, I get leads. You know, we get leads through our inbox um, 20 to 30 plus a day. And so basically what I do is I go in here and say they're from Laura. Um, I'll just use Laura as an example. Uh, Laura is one of our best agents. Um, she's super skilled um, and she has like the work ethic of the best work ethic. And so um, she's one, I'll, I'll take you to through two examples. Laura's by far the best, um, but so Laura sends us a deal, deals. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the address typically and I go through, uh, go through it on Zillow and I make sure it's not pending because if it's pending, obviously we don't want to interfere with that. Um, and then all I'm going to do is run the numbers. Um, you can kind of see what that looks like here. I'll run the numbers, get some comps. And then as soon as I get that, um, all I do is compose or send over an offer to Laura. Um, and this can is kind you, of exactly what it looks like. Um, can you zoom in a little bit so people can see? Zoom in? Okay. Uh, yeah, there this you go. Works. Perfect. So, yeah, yeah so, so this is, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so yeah, we, all I do is I tag, or yeah, CC Laura and Michelle into the thing, um, investor offer and address, blah, blah, blah. This, this is super basic. This is what a lot of people I think fear is how do I send offers, especially using agents and stuff like that. It's extremely easy. All you do is send them, you know, your terms. We have the proof of funds. 
and then she's going to draw up the offer in itself, send it over to us to sign, and that's as that's literally all we do, right? And so from there, obviously contract signed, and this is where we have a ton of ton of deals. Um, and these are all fresh. These are super fresh. Um, and basic, basically from there, um, we have Laura do all of our negotiating. She knows what we can do, what we can't do um, because of Michelle's, um, because Michelle vets our uh, realtors very well. And so she knows what we're going to need and what we don't need. Um, and then once, you know, we do get an offer, you know, done, then put it in contract and then obviously close, it goes into closed deals. Um, now I will, I'm going to actually, should I take them through a deal like with a TJ or a, a Buffy? Or yeah. So go to, so do you, did you guys see how that works out? Once we get a deal, he puts it on Trello, he breaks it down. He sends our, he sends the offer, the, how the terms work. Uh, if you can go back to the offer, I just want to show something because this is yeah. something that I've had some actual students ask me about. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Let me know if I'm going too fast too. Cause I think. Oh no, you're doing great. You're doing great. It's just, there's, I know there's some students that reach out to me a lot and I know that there's some stuff that like people. Um, is that good? About. Yeah, though, so that's perfect. So a couple things is that we do 73% of ARV in Colorado. Um, if it's in Pueblo, we do 70%. Um, and that's how we come up with these numbers. Okay. Everybody's numbers is different. Just check in with other highly invest big investors and see what numbers they're doing. I checked in with Eric because he's the person that has helped me a lot and things like that. We talk about the what a what an offer looks like is the purchase price, the financing, the vesting is my company, and you see I put prosperity states LLC and or assigns. I want all my contracts to be assignable. And they don't gotta ask questions. Like, why are you asking me questions? Do what I say. Yeah. And or assign. <laughs> Inspection period, we do five days, five business days. We, because I don't, this is the boundary that I set for myself and even for trade. We do not work on the weekends. That's just what, that's just the boundary that we set. Everybody builds their business differently. I just, I don't like working on the weekends. That's just what I do. So five business days yeah. after MEC. MEC stands for mutual execution of contract, which means you sign, seller signs, mutually executed. Five days. So that means that because I do five business days, if I get a property under contract Sunday, Monday work begins. I got from Monday through Friday to find a buyer. Okay. And this yeah. is how I break it down. Day one, I text it. I do the deal text that they teach us in Astro and I text it to my inner circle of buyers. I have about 15 buyers that have deep, heavy pockets and they buy and they close in 15 days and it's and it's great. Day two, I blasted on MailChimp. I have a 200 plus buyers list on MailChimp. Hello, as we get new buyers every day, um, Trey and on Trey will blast the same MailChimp kind of like um, template and he'll blast it to the people in uh, Trello. Day three, by day three, I should be getting offers from people from day one, people from day two. If I don't have an offer and a signed assignment fee by day three, I'm sweating a little bit and I take the feedback that I've gotten from these top buyers and I go back to Laura, who's our top agent, and I either ask for, um, for a price drop or an extension, depending what that property needs. If I need a price drop, that's Laura's job. She's our buyer's agent. Seller pays her commissions. I feel comfortable with that. She deserves it. We also yeah. send her flowers. We send her chocolates. We send her Amazon gift cards. All the good things. We send her all the goodies because so, she is, she's Laura. Okay. She's Laura. Yeah. Um, so that's what Laura does. It's Laura's job to represent me as her client and, and do what I say. <laughs> and basically, <laughs> basically get what we need for the deal. Um, yeah. But basically, honestly, guys, by day three, I already have an assigned contract um, and based on the assignment contract that Astro rec uh, refers to us and gives to us, the buyer deposits EMD 24 hours later. So day four, my buyer is depositing EMD a yeah. day early than what it says in my 
in my um, investor offer. So right. now that's, I mean, agents are happy when EMD comes in early, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, I put in how much EMD is going to be, which is right here. It says 2,500. We usually do 1% of the purchase price. And we, if you notice, inspection period and EMD deadline are the same days. Five days after MEC, EMD is due. Same day of the termination deadline is when EMC, e, uh, EMD is due. Yeah. Do, do you get some flack for that? Not anymore, honestly. In the beginning, yes, we did get a lot of flack. I had agents say, Colorado, you're supposed to do it in one day or two days. That's yeah. wonderful. Uh, if you're like me, I'm in the process of continuing to build up my cash flow. Um, and so I just don't feel comfortable throwing down like five, 25 grand, 2,500 or five grand of EMD um, right away. So maybe in the future, I know one of the, the uh, tips that Jamil gave, gave us is as you make money, you know, be a little bit more risky. And if I'm confident in a deal, I got no problem. Yeah. But right now, you know, we're still growing our cash flow. And so we let buyers deposit EMD. Yeah. Um, we choose the title company. We, and if anybody's in Denver, we use First Alliance. They are amazing. Uh, talk to my guy, Vince. He is on point. Um, realtor commissions. This is a question people get asked all the time. Seller pays. Seller pays realtor commissions. And then, like, you see a lot of agents ask and negotiate, like, okay, what can we do? Or you pay me at the, at the closing table, whatever. And then we close in 15 days. Okay? Yeah. And if you see the proof of funds is attached... We were using a different website, but now for those of you guys that are in the uh, agent challenge, Jamil just sent everybody proof of funds, which is super exciting. Yeah, super exciting. So, yeah, um, yeah go ahead, Trey. I just wanted to explain that because I know people get asked a lot of questions. Yeah, 100%. And just stop me whenever, because uh, I don't realize what people don't know and what they have questions on. So just stop me yeah, whenever, go for whenever it. that happens. The one thing that I will say, um, uh, that I forgot uh, to mention is something that we've introduced into our business um, to make it more, I'd say, professional is um, once we do get properties under contract, the the day of, um, we always have a contractor go out and get estimates on the scope of work for rehab. Um, and the reason we do that is so that um, there's a couple of reasons. One, we want somebody in the property ASAP. Um, so that when seller sees that or agents see that, they are seeing that we're you know putting you know, we're actually doing something with the property. And then two, um, when our buyers go into the property, they're they're able to see um, what our contractors have already vetted out and already have got like a scope of work done. And so, um, as something that we've introduced um, in the past month, and it's been extremely extremely rewarding. Um, yeah. And a lot of our contractors, once we close a deal, the buyer works with the contractor that yeah. walks the property and it brings them business and it's yeah. awesome. It's actually a very, um, very fluid relationship and I'm surprised that no, it hasn't been like um, introduced more. But um, yeah, so I'm going to kind of bring you guys through, say you don't have, say uh, the agents you're working with aren't super hot, aren't like uh, representing you the best or, or whatnot. Um, so I'm going to take you through an example, um, not necessarily a bad agent because, um, you know, not, they're not all bad. They're just in different points of their life. Right. And so um, I'm going to take you through a what I would do if, you know, we got 15 or 20 leads from uh Actually, I'll use the most recent. So TJ is an amazing agent, um, but what he's really good at is just finding good deals. Um, he's he's a relatively new uh, agent, um, and so he he doesn't have that communication skill to talk to listing agents and stuff like that as much as we need him to do it. So basically, right now, all he's doing um, is sending us the, sending us leads. We're processing those leads, sending out offers, out, and I talk to directly to the listing agents with those offers, and then, um, you know, we strike up a deal there. And then once we do close, obviously, TJ gets paid. TJ gets, um, you know, we always pay our people because if yeah. we don't, that's wrong. <laughs> so, so, yeah, um, so that's something that Jamil teaches, right? It's go directly to the listing agent. 
And so we have agents that are legit and like they do their thing. So they represent us. And if you're someone that's just like, I don't know how to talk to listing agents. I don't want to deal with it. Right. Find an agent who's on top of their shit and can represent you and negotiate for you and do all the works. So that's the Laura for us. DJ, right. he's not really, you know, he's he's new and he's not as confident, but he knows how to find deals. He knows yes. how to find them. And so T, uh, Trey goes in there, calls the listing agent. We get under contract with the listing agent and we pay TJ on the back end. A small referral, be a thousand, fifteen hundred, yeah. whatever we can pay. Yeah, it depends. And obviously he's happy because... Um, yeah. it's money in his pocket. So, um, mm-hmm. yeah. And it's the same, same concept. All I, all I'm going to do differently is I'm going to process, I think I have these two deals ready to go. Um, and all I do is run the numbers, um, zoom in a little bit so they can see. Yeah. 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 Um, also if you guys want this Trello template thing, um, I'd say reach out to Michelle, the email, and whatnot, we can get that to you as well. Um, definitely yeah, it's free. below 100% because it's so, so useful. Um, but I'll zoom in here. And basically what we'll have is, um, you know, we'll list the, list the address, list the asking price, and then go through the numbers. You guys know what ARV is. I'm I'm sure I know you, you know what MAO is and I know you, you probably know what comps are. And so, um, yeah, we just run our comps, get our MAO and then I'm going to, well, typically I'll put, you know, offer sent at uh, 285 or whatever MAO is. Um, and then we'll just kind of go from there. And from there, I'm not going to reach out to TJ because uh, this is all about going as fast as possible. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly to the listing agent and hit them up. I do believe this one's pending, though. I'm pretty sure this one's pending. Uh, wait for it. Yeah, so this one's pending. Uh, yeah. Typically, then, I will get their email and I'll reach out to them. I'll still reach out to them. And then also see if we can be a, uh, be a backup offer uh, just in case mm-hmm. this original offer doesn't work out. Um, yes, but- that is key, guys. Always, oh, if you see a property pending, call the listing agent and say you want to be a backup offer. Yeah, that's Always, big. because we've gotten so many deals when we're the backups and we get it to the closing table. Yeah. So yeah. just because it says pending, don't be upset. Just call them and say you want to be a backup. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, can you show what, a, just because we're running down on time, can you just show the tab where it says a property that's under contract? Um, property. So people can see that. Under oh. property or under contract, yeah. You want to yeah, see these? One of these? Show them, show them, show them Quebec. Quebec? Yeah. Okay. Quebec. Quebec. Actually, no, that was a closed deal. Okay, let's show them, show them the one that we just assigned. Show them Baylor. Okay, Baylor. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, Zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, bit. Okay. So obviously it's the same thing. Just scroll down so they can see kind of how the conversations on Trello goes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, like I mentioned, I'll go down all the way here and this is where I put offer sent, you know, and then she signs. This is great communication. Keeps us all organized. They countered. Yeah. We went under contract. Woohoo. Right. <laughs> um, this one's going to be a twelve thousand dollar assignment fee, um, and she obviously lists all the all important important info that we need to know just so that uh, we don't get in trouble. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, just, just another thing to point out: that important info keeps you professional to your buyers. Have you ever yes. had a buyer be like, "What's the MD? What's the inspection? You know, what's the title?" Like, you should have that ready to roll, ready to roll. So, yeah, yeah. Very big, very big. Um, do you? I, we're pretty, we keep that in our deal text as well, um, just so that they can kind of, um, you know, know. And then we'll always post uh, feedback from our buyers, um, mm-hmm. and uh, just so that when we do, if we needed to go come back and ask them for, uh, you know, restructuring the deal in some certain way, either you know, extending IP or um, t- 
taking down or discounting the deal a little bit more so that it actually makes sense, um, anything like that. Um, and then, you know, just continually um, mm -hmm. discussing regarding the deals, feedback, some more feedback, and then um, we got it assigned. So, um, and then we broke, there was a lot of people involved in this transaction. Yeah. And Do you so want me to show that? One, yeah, you can show that just so people can see that yeah. JPing and working with other people works. This one is a $9,500 assignment fee. Um, there was a, a buyer, there was Alexander was an uh, agent that brought a buyer to the table. Obviously, Trey gets 30%. And then Phil was the one that brought the buyer to the table and he gets half. So everybody's basically making four figures on this deal and everybody's yeah. going to be happy. This one is closing next week. Yeah, this will be closing. Yeah, next week. And then we also keep um, all our, you know, contracts, um, all our EMD, all title work. We all like for tax season, but also just um, in general, like this is just super, uh, super move because we're always asking what's on the contract. Well, you know, what does the contract say? Blah, blah, blah. And so it's always good to reference to those. Um, but yeah. that said, um, last thing you want to, yeah. Last what, thing I just want to show is closed deals. Um, actually, no, pretty much. Yeah. Closed deals this month. We're on track to closing about nine, eight deals. We have six on the contract right now. We should get two or three more this week guys. And this yeah. is, this is the process. Everything that we just showed you today, we're getting about three to four properties under contract every single week. We yeah. close about two of, out of four of them currently. And our KPIs are just going to get better and better and better because of momentum. Yeah. As long as you stay consistent with your daily workflow, which for us obviously is Facebook. Um, if you want to do batch dialers, you know, batch dialer, whatever daily workflow you are creating, you want to stay consistent with that. So your KPIs get better and better and better because in November we, we got so many leads, so many um, yeah. properties, right. And we only closed on two. Yeah. Um, the following this month, December, we already have six properties under contract. There's already week one. Yeah. So as long as you one. stay consistent with that, we're all good to go. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you want me to show them like our KPI wholesale sheet. Um, yeah, you can just because somebody just asked. And then Penny, I believe we're at two hours. Do you want to just do a quick QA or how do you want to wrap this up? I'll uh, stop presenting. Hello. Hello. I want to know what KPIs I should be tracking. Oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> My bad. I uh, I think you. I'll just tell you what I've been getting. So my phone has been blowing up, Michelle and Trey. I'm getting like DMs from people that uh, you guys are incredible. This is the best day they've they've attended. Like it's just bananas, Michelle. Bananas, Trey. You guys are. Um, you have like, you have so many fans now. You have so many people that feel you, that love you. Not you know. Oh, you already had a lot of folks that were uh, totally into your vibe and just everything you guys are about. But like, really, your structure, your format, your organization, your entire approach is so unique and and different from from other people that we've we've seen. And so I think what would be really helpful if you have some time is just a little Q and A. Um, okay. because I think people have some specific questions for you and go as long as you feel comfortable going. I, I'm, I don't want to end it sooner or I just, when, whenever you're ready and want to get back to space mountain, then that's cool. Um, but, uh, I'll, I'll leave it. I'll leave that in your hands. Cool. Yeah, no, we're okay. cool. We're okay. cool. All right, guys. So let's do a Q and a, uh, okay. What are the three Facebook groups? Um, Email me that question and I'll send that over to you. That should be pretty easy. Great fire. Great fire. Days just keep getting better. What method do, to develop your buyers list? Facebook as well. So I pretty much have gotten a lot of my buyers from Facebook. Um, again, simple posts. Hey, I'm growing my buyers list in Den in the Denver market. Any any 
any buyers in the Denver market that are ready to purchase a flip, something like that. Fix it up, do what you got to do. Or you yeah. can say, hey, I have four off-market properties under contract right now. Any buyers in the Denver market? Facebook yeah. is definitely key. I will also say that, um, so that's a great digital uh, approach to it. But the way I also um, do it is I actually go to a lot of um, a lot of properties, um, open houses and stuff like that. And a lot of the times, like I've met probably a couple dozen now um, of real buyers um, that are on our buyers list at those open houses. And they always, always are begging, begging us to get on the buyers list because um, we're the first, we're front hands. We see the deals first. So, um, yeah, that's yeah. Kind of how I do it too. Perfect. So yeah, Mar networking is key. Huge. Um, how much is your assignment fee percentage wise? It always depends on the deal and if there's room, but minimum is 10 K. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's, you got to kind of run your numbers and see what makes sense. Um, is Trello like Podio? So Trello for us is just a lot simpler than Podio, but you have to kind of see what works best for you. Yeah. Regarding like a CRM, because I know a lot of people are asking about that. Um, yeah. I've, I've personally used CRMs um, and they're great if you're, um, they're kind of like what Michelle said, they're great for specific people. For our, for right now, uh, Trello's doing a wonderful job and yeah. obviously it's, free so yeah do we use astro contracts so for agents we actually have the agents write up the contracts in denver it's the ctme contracts um and so what i would recommend is having a template of an agent that is wholesale friendly and has done business with you save that template with a recent closed um deal and send that template to every new agent that you work with so that way they know what the contract should look like. Key things is like this contract is assignable and has additional provisions, making sure that seller pays their commissions, making sure that buy buyer selects title companies, little things like that. So yeah. just make sure that that. How many people do you have on your team? Right now it's just me and Trey. And like 10 agents, I want to say. Yeah, um, we have, well, if we want to talk team-wise, we do delegate a lot out um yeah. contractors uh we have like five contractors um dozen agents mm -hmm. yeah yeah and we do have people uh astro students actually that have come to us and wanted to learn the hot lead agent strategy on facebook and we i did train them i did teach them and any agent that they bring uh to work with us and we close a, a deal with that agent they get a thousand dollars so um yeah. So yeah, if, they, if they're, they, they don't have their LLC set up yet, you know, and they don't feel comfortable signing contracts, we can have them focus on finding agents and we'll pay them. Yeah, that's a, that's a big, big tip right there. Yeah. Uh, I want to be on your team. Cool. Yeah, just shoot us an email. Does Trey have a girlfriend? Honey, he is married, happily married. <laughs> and he has a kid. Yeah, I got a little dude. It's Trey, you over here getting the girls? Uh oh, he's no. Nah. Uh uh, because these girls are crazy. How do you get put the funds? Uh, I believe Kenny will drop the email for funds. Um, All right, let's see this question. When you try to wholesale your MLS deals to cash buyers, I always worry that the cash buyer is going to contact the realtor directly and try to circumvent me. How do you prevent that? Um, so I've never experienced that. And I do believe that that is a limiting belief and that you create that, right? you attract that. If you think that that's going to happen, it probably will happen. Um, and so most of our deals, we're really below the MLS price. Um, and so obviously the only way that they can get it at our price is to come to us. So I believe that just kind of like removing that is, it, removing that thought will help you a lot because I always, in the beginning, I thought like, oh my gosh, if it's on the MLS, like none of my buyers are going to buy. And I've closed eight MLS deals in the past six months and two last month and we're going to close six this month. So yeah. just kind of take that away. Um, 
Uh, oh, and yeah. one thing that I might mention on that is not everybody's going to be happy with your offer. Um, yeah. But you just have to have tough skin because it's a reality. It's real estate. So yeah. if they're not happy with it, then you know, find a buyer. For sure. How do you find good contractors? Facebook. Facebook. Facebook, Facebook okay. and realtor uh, networking. Yeah, realtors networking. Yeah, realtors can also recommend you some really good contractors. Facebook on those Facebook groups. Hey, just about to purchase my first flip, looking for a really great contractor that can help me with this flip. Send me a message so we can connect and get all their numbers. How do you decide how to pay realtors? Is, is Laura someone that gets 50-50? So Laura, her, the seller pays all her commissions right now. And um, in the new year, we're actually going to start fitting her into our assignment fees because she's just proven herself that much. She's amazing. Um, so, yeah. So basically, we have agents prove themselves to us for a couple of months. We've closed a few deals already with Laura. And, uh, and yeah, we're definitely going to we're going to get her paid. How did you guys build your partnership? How many deals or interactions, building trust, all that um, I mean, we kind of explained our process already. I don't know if you guys want to just just rewatch the thing, but build, building partnerships, building relationships, getting deals, getting the deals is a numbers game. So you have to just be patient and just understand that. Um, interacting, just be yourself and just know the type of business that you're looking for. And building trust, you just have to be a trustful person and people can feel that and sense that and they'll trust you. How was the process during your first ever deal? My first ever deal was actually a micro flip with Eric Pinuelas. And his the deal that he had under contract was actually an MLS deal. And so I added my fee on top. It was 13K fee. I found the buyer and I made 13K on that deal. Um, and that was great. That was really great. How to get around an unassignable contract. Maryland Realtor sales agreement are non-assignable. Not sure about Maryland Golden Sheep, um, but just, I guess, check in with other Maryland uh, investors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just saw another question here. Trey, somebody messaged you on Facebook for the sub to meet up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you give low ball written offers for on market deals? Like Jamil says, they're not low ball offers, they're 100% what they're worth. And so one yeah. of the things. One of the things that we do send to our agents is Jamil's, um, gosh, I'm drawing in a blank, Jamil's appraisal rules. And we show them exactly what our appraisal rules looks like, how we run our numbers. We send that to the agents so that way they feel a little bit more comfortable in, um, in you know, understanding our offer. Yeah, don't try to hide anything. Um being transparent with your agents and everything everyone you work with always comes out to bless you so um laura knows what we want and laura knows what we're going to give and so we just trust our agents once we give them that yeah for sure how did you find an operations manager what is a reasonable budget commission and work schedule so uh, trey and i connected on facebook <laughs> um and trey what is your work schedule i mean you, as long as you do the thing do the damn thing. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yep, do the damn thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's up pretty early. I'm the one that sleeps in. But again, I'm in East time, Eastern time, so I always have like a two hours ahead of time thing. But Trey is usually up at 8 a.m. Um, looking over the leads, submitting those offers, and doing what he has to do. Um, sometimes it's a full day. Sometimes we have to hop on the phone. It all depends what we need to do to get deals done. But we We're do not work on the week. Yeah, we do not work on the weekend. That is our, um, so that is that. How many deals did you do micro flipping before jumping into the MLS? That is a great question. I, think, I believe I did like three deals micro flips and then the rest have been MLS deals. Um, so I personally, just so you guys know, I love the MLS deals because I like to be in control of my contracts. 
And um, I just like to have my business name on the contract. And somebody asked me, are you direct to seller? I say yes. Um, but Paul, if you guys are just like, I don't want to do MLS deals, like this is just not for me, no problem. Reach out to Paul. He's like the king of micro flips. Um, and he's made like 60, 70 K just in the last two months. Um, one of his, one of his deals was like a 30 K assignment fee. The other one was a 20 K assignment fee. And those were all off market micro flips. So if that's more like your jam, your bread and butter, reach out to Paul and he can definitely help you out with that. Um, how are y'all working Dispo internally? Um, three avenues of Dispo. First is text, text, deal text. Second That's is true. MailChimp email, uh, and the uh, and the third one is Facebook, email blast, Facebook. Um, from Facebook, I also connect with other wholesalers, and I have them send me non-exclusive options so they can market it out. Um, I do that with top wholesalers that obviously are doing the damn thing. I also do that with Keegley, all the Keegley franchises in Colorado. I do that with them, um, and. And that's that's our three avenues of dispo for yeah. you include the wholesalers. Do you pay your contractors to give you a quote? If so, how much? So the contractors that we've worked with, they're awesome. They don't charge us, but we do make sure that when the deal closes that the buyer uses that contractor. Um, yeah. or some way somehow they get some type of business with them. Um, okay, so I think I got through all the questions. Did I miss anything? I have a friend that called me. Okay. okay. Yeah. What is microflip? That's a strategy that Astro Flipping uses. I think we got through all the questions. Again, if, if I miss anything, you guys can email, text us, call us, and we can make it happen. Amazing, you two. What a day. <laughs> wow. Like, okay. Let me just say, both of you guys, uh, you, you crushed it. You crushed Thank it. You. Michelle, like, again, so much energy, enthusiasm, life, love. Um, your whole your whole vibe is receptive, right? Yeah. You and and how you you completely approach this strategy is different and unique and beautiful and perfect. And there's so many people that want to work with you. So guys, reach out to Michelle, please reach out to Michelle. She is looking for talented people who are ready to work. You guys can see she's a boss, so don't waste her time. Don't don't send her a message like how to call agents. <laughs> don't do that. She will she will light your ass up, right? Don't don't do that. She will light you up. Like if you're ready, if you're serious and you want to connect with her and work with her, um she put her phone number out there, reach out. Uh, be respectful and reach out. Uh, you guys saw Trey, incredible, um, married. So sorry, ladies, but uh, yes, he's like such a such a fabulous integrator, right? This man is a systems genius. He's got it all organized and earns every dime he gets out of this situation. And so, for all of you integrators out there that are wondering how do I add value to a firecracker like Michelle, this is how you do it. You organize the fire. You see right. this? This is what this looks like in real life. You get a fireball like Michelle that she will burn the earth if she's not organized in a situ in, in a place. Look, that's what it is. And I'm the same yeah. way. If I don't have an Emily, if I don't have a Josiah, if I don't have a Hunter, if I don't have these people, I will scorch the earth too. I have to be contained and organized and structured so that I can do what I do, which is which is provide light and heat. And, and, and to do the thing that I'm good at, that's exactly what you do. That's exactly what you showed us. And this is why this was so magical today. Everybody, we need to show them some gratitude for this fantastic, fantastic session. I want you to take a picture right now with your cell phone. And all of us. Snap that and share it in your Instagram stories. Uh, tag them, tag Michelle, tag Trey, tag me. I need, I want all 700 people who watch to have this in your story today because we got to blow this up. Um, guys, we had 2,000 people register, 700 people showed up. That just shows you that, that 1,300 people decided today. Today was not the day that they were going to change their lives. But here's what's up. 
the 1300 i'm sure at least 500 of you are watching this on the recording okay you know what you missed you missed the opportunity to connect with the 700 that were in the chat that's what you missed today and that's where i'm telling you these connections get made you saw how these two connected on facebook now they've got a business together now they earn together so don't do that tomorrow be here tomorrow, guys. Show up live in the chat. Connect. Create your teams. Create your future. This is where it happens. Michelle, Trey, Paul, I love you. Say bye, baby. Amen. Paul has been killing it. Thank you, What's Jamia. Thank, Thank you, guys. So Thank you, guys. And and for those of you um, that want to see more of Michelle, Paul, Michelle, and I are going to be, uh, and, and Trey, too, are you going to be on To the Moon with us or what? Of course. <laughs> so we're going to be, we're shooting to the moon, uh, an incredible podcast uh, that I put out on my YouTube channel. We're going to be shooting that in a half an hour. So you guys are going to yeah. see more of them in the future, but you guys are incredible. We love you so much. Guys, share that on your Instagrams right now. Share it on your Instagrams right now. Share it on your Instagrams right now. Woo! We want, we want, I need all 700 people to have this in their story because you guys are the best. We love you. Signing you. out. See you tomorrow. See you guys. Bye. Bye.